I'm now live. Oops. If I double tap. I don't have anybody that's actually in the viewers yet. Oh, there's one viewer. Two viewers. Uh, it's going to be like with Manic Mondays. Oh my God, I, I can't close the chat. It's going to be like with Manic Mondays where we had five listeners one time. I was super excited about that. My partner told me that he hates my lipstick because he thinks I look like the Joker. But I think he's crazy. I'm like, Kat Von D knows her shit, okay? So don't even, don't even. So I've never actually used Periscope before, so I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do. And uh, I'm just supposed to talk, I suppose. So VP Brennan says hello from Northwest Indiana. Or is that like a place <laughs> I should know where it is? I don't know. Um, so yeah, so today we're gonna do the Q and A. Um, I've had a lot of requests for, for me to do this. So why do I look so high? That looks weird. Okay, so call me P underscore A says, what are you doing musically right now? Um, I have a pretty dinosaur Mac right now, so I need to get a new one in order to transfer all of the stuff that I've been writing since Human Conditional to now and get like a whole new setup. And I've been saying that, how many times have I said that? Literally like a million times um, on like on Facebook and stuff, but I, I really am going to do that. Uh, that's... That's a, that's a thing uh, that'll happen this, this summer. At the moment, I am in Italy, so um, I need to do that when I get home. Axbane says, keep it rocking. I will try. Actually, this new stuff is, <sighs> it's, it's less like human conditional and it's more like amphibious assault. And I always said, I'm like, oh, amphibious assault isn't going to happen anymore. And isn't going to blah, blah, blah. But you know, whatever. Need you on the podcast. What podcast? What is this? What am I doing in Italy? Uh, my partner lives here. Um, so we back and forth. Can you tell us about your first name? Sorry, your name just disappeared. So I can't see who it is. My first name. Um, my mom tells so the story goes, I don't actually know if this is true. But um, my mom, whilst pregnant with me, was watching a show called Dynasty. I believe Dynasty was an Aaron Spelling show. Or was that Dallas? I can't remember. Anyway, Dynasty, it's actually on my like list of... Did I say ass-eating? No ass-eating. There's no ass-eating here. <laughs> Don't you worry. Uh, yeah, it, what was I saying? Right. So it was a show and one of the characters' names was Fallon. Um, coincidentally, she was like kind of the tart of the show. I'm a light-skinned Foxy Brown says these days. Hmm, I'll take it. Wait, isn't the Foxy Brown the one that had all this plastic surgery and she doesn't look like herself anymore? Is that Foxy Brown? Did I just get done eating a blue popsicle? No, I didn't, because then my tongue would be blue. I really like this lipstick, so don't hate. Like I said, Kat Von D, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> it matches my glasses. They jelly of your style? Mm-hmm. Are those prescription, meaning my glasses? Yes, they are. They're great. These are S Spy, is the name of the, the brand. Spy? Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to be like Snapchatting too. Hold on. Let me see if I can do two things at the same time. So this is the first time I've done this, so give me a break. No Snapchats yet. I think we're good. Yeah, so the brand name is Spy. I think Spy, they make um, ski goggles, but they also make glasses. And they, this it comes in red. It comes in like a really bright red. Then this color, the blue, and then black, which I thought was kind of... Can you see through walls of these glasses? Probably. I haven't tried yet, though. Um, yeah, and they're a really good company. You should check them out. Anyways, so I compiled a list from before of people's questions. 
Uh, and a couple of people have asked me, do you have any good tour stories? And I do, I guess. I think I might have already told one on Manic Mondays. Um, who was it? Uh, the story with Phil and Selmo about how I got really drunk and made an ass of myself. I think I might have already told that one, so I'm not going to tell it again. Um, tell me if I haven't. Uh, Pamela Sue Martin, you, you know it, buddy. I want to know the Phil and Selma story. Okay, so I haven't told it. Okay. So, so the story goes that when we were on Ozfest, um, Phil and Selmo was chatting to me, um, and we're sitting in front of this, like a bathroom and he was, we were busy, busy sitting there drinking and he, um, was basically telling me all of the, the greatest metal CDs of all time. And so like there was uh he was, what was he playing? I think it was mayhem. It was mayhem or was it Celtic frost? I can't remember. So this, we're sitting in front of this uh, door and somebody goes inside of it and clogs the toilet. And then all of this poop and stuff starts coming out of the toilet and like going all over the floor and stuff. And I didn't notice because I didn't want to say anything because I'm sitting beside Phil and Salmo, right? So um, that was that was a good story because I I legit didn't like, I didn't want to say anything. Sitting beside him, never met him before. And I'm blocking whoever this person is. So I don't know who you are, but I don't know why you're here if you want to be an asshole. So anyways, uh, so that's a good, good one. Third Coast Texas Toast says, hi from Texas. Hello. There are quite a few Texas people I noticed. You think he's racist? So he was into you? I don't think so. Not at that time. You're the reason I pierced my labrae in high school says Third Coast Texas Toast. That's interesting because I only got my Libre Pierce after I left the band. Hi from Chicago. Hi, Kiosha. I've seen you many times. Um, I don't have any other good tour stories. Hello from South Dakota. Hello. It's a lot of Americans. That's good. Um, other tour stories. <sighs> can't really think of any other ones. I saw Tommy Lee have sex on top of the tour bus. <laughs> that was eventful, being 16 and seeing that. Who is the most famous person that has recognized you? Uh, I actually don't think that's ever happened to me. I'm not really famous, so they're like, they don't really care. <laughs> I have to. T I mean, at the time, I would have said, "Oh, hey, I'm blah 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 from this band," and then they would know. But um, other than that, I don't think so. I'm trying to think. This is so hard because it's like, okay, Will six one three seven five says, "Have you ever been involved in music or other bands since you left Kitty?" Yes. Um, I don't know if you all would remember this, but I played guitar for Thule for a while for, uh, for their, uh, guitar player, Dawn was, um, she hurt her hand, I believe. So I played guitar for them. Um, mm -hmm. I was also involved with pig face, which was really cool. And that was something that I had done. Um, I was introduced to Martin Atkins through, um, Jason Miller from Godhead and uh, yeah I was hi <laughs> oh I missed that one see it doesn't actually show like a list of like different I don't know it doesn't show everybody's chat on the side it's annoying I even forgot what I was just saying see this is what this is what's happens this is I think you a freak Cool. The most famous fan of Kitty? 
at the time? Ah, geez, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I thought it was pretty cool that Ozzy Osbourne knew who we were. But that was probably because, like, his wife told us, told, told him that, yeah, we're having this band on our tour. Um, there are a bunch of girls, and he listened to our CD, and he liked it. And I thought that that was kind of cool. Because um, that's not every day that Ozzy Osbourne gets to know who you are. And um, Jack Osbourne was actually on the tour with us. And he was, he was maybe, like, three or so years younger than me. But he was such like he was such this little kid, right? That kind of hung out with us and whatnot. So that was kind of cool. Um, and his sister had given me a pet monkey, not a real one, but a fake one, um, which was kind of cool. I thought. Um, but now they would probably actually that's not true. I did add him on Facebook, and he re remembered who I was. But most people <laughs> don't remember, nor do they care. So. Which is perfectly fine. Um, still pretty cool, though. Um, I should have probably prepared better for the good tour story, because that's one that I've gotten many times. Um, crazy, crazy Kajun figure? Have you ever wanted an action figure sculpted of your playing days? Yes, that would be awesome. I think actually somebody had already done that for me. Um, like and they're like can I send it to you and I didn't have a PO box at the time so I'm like I don't know if, I don't know if you could do that but anyway um I don't know if that was you or not but anyway somebody had already told me um what new bands are you into that's actually one question that people have been asking quite a bit um musically I've been <clears throat> into really ambient music so um i guess it's kind of house-esque and uh there are two bands that i'll give the names of and i'll when i post this on facebook i'll or start on facebook well facebook and youtube i'll put the actual links to their band camp um because while i was writing my thesis these two bands were on repeat for me uh constantly um the first one is called sign rider uh, I don't know where he, I think it's a guy, I don't know where he's from, but uh, he's, he's an ambient artist uh, out of, I think, I think it might be California. I'm, don't, don't quote me on that one though. Um, so it's all ambient, really, really great if you're into just not really paying attention to the music. The music is there and it's just sort of these ambient noises in the, in the background, but it's still electronic. So I've been listening to him uh on repeat um and another one is called lbn 667 and i'm a bit of a, a makeup obsessed person and i heard this per this guy it's a guy uh i heard his music in this one beauty guru's one of her videos he's from milwaukee sorry if my hands are really shaky Cause like I, I'm kind of holding it up and yeah. Anyway, anyway, so it was, I heard her, uh, in, I heard him in her, um, in her video. And it, it is also very, very ambient, very similar to sign writer, but like, God, it's kind of spacey music and you know, you can space out when you're listening to it and, and I, I even emailed or messaged the, um, uh, messaged the guy saying, like, your music is the reason why I'm finishing my thesis on time <laughs> because it was so, uh, you know, puts you in a trance kind of. And when you're having to write um, a large amount of words, <laughs> it really helps to just zone out and... Uh, get it all done. Uh, another question that I had uh, is what did, what did you do in school? Um, I'm a classics major and most people don't know what that means. They're so like, oh, so you read classical literature, um, meaning like Jane Austen and stuff like that. I'm like, no. Um, I don't think I've ever actually read Jane Austen. Probably should. 
so yeah, I'm a classics major, classics majors. Um, we study Greek and Roman history and people are like, well, why would you want to do that? Ah, because I want to. So there. Uh, when I do get a PO box, I will let you know. Um, I'm sorry, I missed your name. Um, because that would be super cool. Actually, a friend of mine got um, uh, a action figure made of her, which I thought was super cool. I was like, oh, I want one of those too. But eh, it's never been a th it's never been an opportunity. But I guess. But you make music, sports, and horror very cool. All right, okay. Only if I can be wielding some sort of weapon alongside with my guitar, then I would. I'd be really into that. Um, yeah, so I'm a classics major and I just finished my master's degree in classics with a focus on archaeology. This is what I'm doing in Italy. I dig stuff, <laughs> dig up Etruscan sites mostly. And uh, it's funny because both Talina and I are both archaeologists and we sort of grew into that uh, line of work separately it wasn't even we weren't doing it together we were like oh you're doing that she's like yeah so am i i'm like huh, huh, how's that um so yeah i've been digging a site here which is just to the north of rome uh it's super super cool in fact we i was i dug all last week and uh, we found some really awesome i mean it's awesome because it's awesome to me um, underground chambers and things like that, um, which sort of makes it a kind of unique site in and of itself. So, uh, super, super cool. And yeah, that's, that's that. And other than that, I, I really don't have any other recurring questions. <laughs> Those are the ones that I get a lot. Um, besides like, are you rejoining Kitty? Which no, I'm not. Um, or, or uh, like when's your new record coming out? Probably in the fall uh it will be on online only because as you know i'm not going to be printing any more cds because i have all those other ones that are just sitting there so at any rate um i'm gonna cut this one off then i guess because i said that it was only gonna last as long as i had questions so no more questions that's it gonna be quick and dirty if you guys liked this please let me know if you would rather me do it on Facebook because I know that Facebook also has a live um live broadcasting option um yeah let me let me know uh either you know post it in the in the comments on Facebook or message me uh that kind of thing why I, I don't think I'm that awesome no you'll enjoy this one better okay I, I actually have never used Facebook's live uh, option. I find it really annoying when it comes like a lot of people have it, uh, that I subscribe to and then it takes over your feed and stuff. And I don't know if I'm into that. So I kind of like this. It's a little bit more, less, more chill. And so, so long as there's not dickheads in here, then, uh, Oh, Jared. Oh, Jared. Hi, Jared. I like seeing people's names that I recognize. Cause I know that like, you know, I have a very small fan base, but I, if I see your name a lot, like some of them, some of you I follow on Twitter too. So I will, you'll come up on my feed all the time and I'll read your tweets. I'll read everything. Um, yeah. Oh, cool. Follow me back or something. Definitely, man. I'll look you up. Um, yeah. So I like seeing people's names that I recognize. That's kind of cool. Cause I'm like, Hey, <laughs> and you know me, I, I generally will talk to anybody that's respectful and, and nice and whatnot. So that's pretty good. But, um, if anybody doesn't have any other questions, um, then I guess that's it. I'll probably try and do another like update kind of live broadcast, uh, as well. Um, uh, I don't know when, maybe in a couple weeks or so to see what, uh, what I'm doing and where I'm going and what my life is, <laughs> which Nobody really knows. I don't know. Nobody knows. Life is life is great like that. So um, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm sorry if it was rather short. Ten minutes. Not bad. Which is pretty good. Um, and yes, I am done with school. I just finished in June. 
No, what day is it? Oh my God. No, I finished in April. Yeah, I finished in April. I haven't got my degree yet, but it's being, it's in the mail somewhere in Canada. And yeah, I am done. So yeah. So th three things. A, post if you like Periscope better uh, than doing it maybe on Facebook Live or whatever. Uh, let me know. Uh, I know at least one person said Periscope is better. Uh, I'm working on doing more videos because I'm sort of compiling here and there um, sort of a vlog style of what I've been doing um, from my time in Copenhagen too. Uh, so trying to compile something. I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do probably is try and make it like super, super easy and not trying to edit it like crazy like I'm Casey Neistat or something because um, clearly I can't do that. Uh, so I'm going to be really um, simple about it. So I'm going to try and do that. Uh, I'm also teaching a course at the same time, so I'm trying to divide my time between the two. So that's, that's number two. I'll, I'll try and do that. Then we'll try and do, I'll try and do another one of these if you guys like it. If not, no big deal. Uh, number four, uh, if you have any other ideas for stuff, if you want to join me on a live broadcast out somewhere, like Siena or because I'm near Siena in Italy, um, I'd be perfectly happy to do that. And we can, I don't know what I can talk about. I can talk about something, but who knows? So anyways, that's it. I'm going to sign off. Um, so thank you very much for hanging out with me for 15 minutes, which is pretty cool or less if you just join and I hope to see you soon. So thanks again for your support and lovely. Ciao, ciao. Bye. I don't know how to turn it off. Swipe down to stop. Okay.